Another new Channel 5 exclusive uncovering potential dangers in Northeast Ohio. This is what we're talking about right here. This time, it's light poles with exposed wires around Cleveland, threatening anyone who walks by. And Five on Your Side investigator Jonathan Walsh shows us where these poles are and goes to the city for answers about this. After checking our voltage tester at our station, I found several light poles near Burke Lakefront Airport with access plates missing and live wires exposed. This is a popular site for Cleveland Airshow watchers. The worst stretch, though, was Clark Avenue between Quigley and West 11th. Pole after pole, we found wide open wires dangerously hot with electricity. Holes so big, I could even fit my head into them, something any child could do walking along this street. Twelve of the 16 poles are in bad shape, with missing plates, ripped up electrical tape, and even a combination of tape and cardboard, of all things. Neighbors are not happy. If one of the kids decide they want to ride their bike down there, and we already know how electricity is, if it hits metal, that's the best conductor you can have. That kid's over with. And I found more problems in a high traffic, newly developed area right here in the heart of Gordon Square. Several open plates on Detroit Avenue near West 65th. Numerous shops, plenty of people walking by, lots of potential danger. It seems like it'd be kind of easy to fix, I mean, to take care of the issue. I made the Cleveland Department of Public Utilities aware of the problems. I also talked with Councilman Brian Cummins, who told me just a couple of weeks ago, Council approved $300,000 for Cleveland Public Power to hire a consultant to reevaluate light poles in the city. Now, I understand they say the city broke, but you can still do something. I'm investigator Jonathan Walsh, News Channel 5. I'm going to give you a number here in just a moment. Meantime, after contacting the Department of Utilities, our cameras caught crews addressing the issues we brought to them, like this right here, with more tape and cardboard. The department stresses no one should ever touch exposed lines, and you should report missing plates and exposed wires immediately. Here's the number, 216-664-3156.